So with this video clip, I'm going to work to clarify um, what is what parallel structure with suffixes is all about. Let's start off with the definition of a suffix. So a suffix is an ending that can be attached to a word. There are plenty of types of suffixes. Um, I have a few listed over here. ing, like washing, er, like washer, and a, b, l, e, like washable. Those are all types of suffixes that can be attached to a word. There are plenty more aside from these three, but let's use these three to help us better understand parallel structure with suffixes. As I said, these suffixes can be added to a word. Um, let's use the word teach as an example. When we add the suffix, the suffix is above to the word teach, it forms new words like teaching or teacher or teachable. With parallel structure, um, we must use the same suffix for each word that's in a list. So if you start off using ing, then you gotta keep using ing. Or if you start off using er, in general, you should continue to use er. Let's look at an example. Here we have the sentence, Kathy walked, jogged, and biked through the Rocky Mountains. This sentence uses correct parallel structure. Um, each word has the same ending. ED, ED, ED. Uh, each word within the list, I guess I should say, has the same ending. ED, ED, ED. Now the sentence in red does not follow parallel structure. Um, Kathy walked, went jogging, and biked through the Rocky Mountains does not follow parallel structure. Uh, because all of the words don't have the same suffix. I hope that this video clip helps to clear some things up, but if you still have more questions, please feel free to reply to this email or send me a whole new email. Stay safe.